Hey everybody, welcome to Taste This One. Welcome back if you're a regular, regardless if you are a regular or a new viewer, hopefully you are having a good day today. Whenever you're watching this video, today we are at Dickie's Barbecue Pit. We are going to be trying their new Hawaiian pulled pork sandwich. Came out, I believe, a couple weeks ago. We're going to get in there, we're going to review it grade it, score it, new batteries in the scale, so that's ready to roll for everybody, you ready to go, so am I, let's go. Dickie's Barbecue Pit, new Hawaiian pulled pork sandwich in hand. Got an extra cup of the uh, sauce. We're going to get to the main drag strip right here. We're going to go park over there somewhere, get the tray out. Hopefully it's clean. We will start the review in three, two, and one. All right, we are back for the Dickies Barbecue Pit review. Um, Dickies has over 500 locations in 44 states, started in 1941. Today, we are eating their new Hawaiian pulled pork sandwich, which features hickory smoked pulled pork served on a Sweet King's Hawaiian bun topped with Dr. Pepper infused barbecue sauce so here she is or he his whatever you want to say looking good try to twist it without having any fall for you nice it's looking really good the Hawaiian bun is kind of uh, I don't know looks a little smashed I mean I don't know, but before we taste it, it's time to weigh it. All right, the Dickies pulled pork sandwich weighs in at 10.5 ounces. Oh! All right, we are back. 10.5 ounces of sandwich. It's a nice size chunk of meat. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> or pulled pork. Um, we do have the knife from home. We are going to cut it in half. Actually, let's pop the top on this thing for you guys. I think it's going to fall everywhere, but we'll still do it. Here we go. So this, this Hawaiian bread might got a sat kind of got saturated a little bit, but as you can see, a lot of pulled pork there hanging everywhere. Dr. Pepper infused barbecue sauce. I did get some sauce on the side. I think we might need it, but maybe not. <laughs> Let's check it out. Knife from home. Let's cut into this. There it is. So if you're wondering what this cost, this is $8. $8.80. So Illinois, the great state of Illinois and their fine taxes takes 80 cents. So $8.80, but it's $8. There it is. Nice thick sandwich. Eight dollars. We'll take a bite first and then bring the uh, extra sauce. See what that tastes like. But 
first bite, no extra sauce. Let's taste this one. Dickie's new Hawaiian pulled pork sandwich. Let's taste this one. There's a piece of the pork. I'm really not tasting any um, flavor. Dr. Pepper barbecue infused barbecue sauce. Um, Let's let's just try this by itself. Maybe I'm missing something. Yeah, I do not taste it on here. So I, I I'm not sure how they present this or how they're making this, but I do not taste any of this flavor. I'm gonna try to get it without spilling it for you. I do not taste any of this flavor on this pork. So, um, there it is. Vinegar-based barbecue sauce with the sweetness of the uh, Dr. Pepper. I haven't had their regular barbecue sauce, so I don't know. This does taste good, but we definitely have to uh, to dunk this because this pork sandwich, I think it's just a, I don't know if they're supposed to put this sauce on top of here, but it's too plain without the sauce. So we're going to dip it. Wish we had the uh, plate from home, but we don't. There we go. Let's taste this one. Hopefully it's better than the last bite. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not even a comparison. One more bite. This sauce is legit it is good one more bite final comments grade and score this pork is nice and moist it's not the greatest pulled pork I've ever had but definitely not the worst um, I will say that sauce, though, saved this whole sandwich. I thought that the pork, shredded pork, would be in the sauce on top of the bun, but it comes on the side, I guess, because when you're eating this pork, you don't taste that at all. Do not taste the sauce. So I must have been wrong. I don't know. Maybe they made it wrong for me. I don't have no idea. Um, the bun, though, as you saw, it's kind of on the uh, lame side. I already ate it all, but it wasn't very fluffy. It was kind of pressed down. Um, it is toasted, though. So I guess that's a good thing. But overall... $8 for where I'm at for this sandwich, 10.5 ounces of goodness, I thought it was worth it. Um, but again, I'm still confused about this sauce. I thought the pork was supposed to be uh, simmering in it, and then he just put it on top of the, on the bun. 
appears that's not the case. They give it to you on the side. This sauce is awesome. That is awesome sauce. All right, we are wrapping up today's video. The new Hawaiian pulled pork sandwich from Dickies. Kind of confused on it because I thought the sauce was going to be on top of the pulled pork. And he asked me if I wanted some sauce on the side. So I said, sure. But the sandwich didn't have any sauce on it. So if I didn't have the sauce on the side, I just would have had a pulled pork sandwich, just a plain pulled pork sandwich. So a little confused on that. Maybe they messed it up here. I'm not sure. Um, the sauce, vinegar-based barbecue sauce, has that little distinct peppery taste on there with the Dr. Pepper sugary, uh, that sugar in the Dr. Pepper distinct uh, f flavor profile. Things that, I think it works very well together. So uh, the sauce overall is dynamite. The sandwich without the sauce is a B minus 80. Again, 10.5 ounces of meat, decent sized sandwich for $8, but that sauce is the key to the sandwich. With that sauce, brings it up to a B plus 88 double snowmen. It's good. I think that sandwich is well worth $8. If you're going to go there, ask for a couple extra cups of the uh, sauce on the side for dipping. Again, decent sized sandwich. I don't even think one cup is enough. That sauce is good. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. The button's right below. Just click it. If you want to see some more of my videos hit the subscribe button maybe the notification bell that way you know when i put out new videos try to get them out monday wednesday and friday outside of the uh, youtube world it does get hectic so try to get them out monday wednesday friday maybe sprinkling a couple extra bo bonus videos when i have the time to do that to keep everybody on their toes but with that being said again thank you very much for watching and until the next video we will see ya.